tried pushing her your way, and look what happened. This place is an experiment. This school opened in 1921. Yeah, all right, then. It's a big experiment with my daughter. Our daughter. Our daughter, who had a bit of a breakdown. Shh. She'll hear you. She, she was ill, Rose. So she knows she failed to get into the school of your dreams. Oh, well, that's right. Blame me. It's not about blame. It's about doing what's best for Maddie. One term and we'll review. I'm looking at this as rehab. Try childhood. You dumped me at boarding school. Two minutes from our house. I'm not dumping you. I'm paying. What with? Spanners? That's why I'm not getting out. You haven't got the money, have you? I'll get it. I'm working on a plan. It'll all be sorted when I pick you up at the end of term. End of term? Aren't you going to come and see me? The school don't like parents bugging kids during term time. Honestly, it's what they said. The kids are long-haired weirdos. Hello? I'm not going to fit in here, Dad. Why have I got to come to this school? Because I don't know what else to do with your son. to turn out like her. I want Maddie to turn out like Maddie. I'm doing my best for you, Ryan. Don't go getting chucked out again. Third time lucky, eh? Teacher Maddie. Not him, her. You can say your goodbyes now if you want. I'll look after her. No. Yes. Mum? This is for you, darling. A mobile. Thanks, Mum. Right, keep it switched on. I've got the charger in your case. There's some money. Hmm? It's for emergencies only. It's a list of things to do. Hug for Mum. Now, work hard, yeah? 
keep on top of your lessons, and if you don't like it here, then you can come home. It'll be fine, Matt, OK? Don't worry about anything. Just have fun, OK? But, Dad... I love you. Right? Love you too, Dad. OK, give me a kiss. <clears throat> this is Matt. We call him Yoga Matt. <laughs> He's your house parent and responsible adult. The locker is for your valuables, and Matt can look after your key if you want. He's your house parent. Given up parents, and I don't need no body thanks. All the same, Ned. Everyone can climb that tree, just not the big beach because basically it's enormous. I brought in a rule about not climbing it when it's raining. What are you on about? The school rules. We make them, and sometimes we break them. Kids make up the rules. We meet here twice a week, talk about stuff, propose new rules. Everybody votes, and if enough people agree, the rule is made law. So what? We had a school council at my last school. The SWATs yapped away, but still the teachers did everything their way. It's not like that here. The teachers are just part of the community, same as us. It's one person, one vote at Summerhill. OK, then. I'm going to say I don't have to go to lessons. Someone already did. The man who started Summerhill, he thought the kids should only go to lessons if they wanted to. So, I don't have to go to lessons? You don't have to do anything you don't want to. That's the whole point of Summerhill. And there's the drama studio. Hi, I'm Heather. Come up, we're playing parrots. I'm being Tiger Lily. Climbing trees is dangerous. He says. Hi, Mum. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, the phone's working great. Ahoy there! Enemy sighted at three o'clock. Heather, we've played it already. Let's do Mama's on the rock. No, it's the real enemy. Hope's oh, coming on board. Peter! Not him! Them! It's an invasion! There's hundreds!